Hi guys and welcome to our introductory lesson on cascading style sheets. Uh, in our web design and development unit so far you've been working on HTML uh, and that allows us to structure and lay out our pages. So for example, put an image in, put some text in and paragraphs, do some basic styling in terms of italics, bold and uh, underline things, combine those and put line breaks in, hyperlinks, lists, unordered lists, so things like that we've done up until now. But I'm sure you'll, you'll, you'll agree that the, the websites up until now have been pretty plain, okay? So what we're going to look at is cascading style sheets, and that allows us to style our website, add colours, uh, background colours, images, different things like that. Okay, so an introductory lesson today, and what we're going to do is we are going to look at an internal style sheet, which means the style sheet is actually placed inside the web page and it applies throughout the web page. Now, um, I am going to do this um, pretty quickly because I've got the, the code for the cascading style sheet um, typed out um, already, so I'm going to be copying and pasting it in, whereas you guys are going to be actually typing it in for practice, um, which is um, which is good for you. Um, so the first stage and the first step is that the cascading style sheet um, will go in the head of the document. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run this um, in Chrome, uh, just so you can see the actual web page itself. There it is. It's our Italy web page we started with, I think, from Lesson 2, where we put an ordered list. And the, the food and the um, history and so on. Um, the culture pages um, from there. So what we are going to do is we are going to change the styling of that. Okay, so I've left that up um, so that we can view it and we can refresh it when we apply styles so that we can test it and see what it looks like. Okay, so um, if I go back here, the first thing we're going to do is we're apply, going to apply the style tags. Now, our styling must go inside the head of the document and here where the title is. Okay, so if we click here in the title, we just put some white space in the head of our document, and we're going to add some uh, a couple of new tags. Now I'm going to just kind of copy and paste these in, um, just for for speed in terms of the video. Don't want it taking too long for you. Um, so we've got an opening and a closing style tag, and inside those style tags is where we are going to put the styling of our web page that will be applied throughout this, the entire web page, okay? Not the entire website, just this page, okay? Um, again, um, I'm going to now um, look at inserting our first um, style, okay? Um, now, uh, styles can come in many, uh, many forms, okay? Um, so I'm going to um, look at applying um, a background um, colour, okay? So when you start typing, you'll see um, background colour. So I can click on here and the background colour, um, which will be applied, can then be inserted. Now, we're going to use hexadecimal, which means we've got the hashtag. It's um, a method of inserting background colours, okay? And you can find lots and lots of hex colours on W3 schools. I'll direct you there, there'll be a link on and stuff like that as well, but I'm going to give you the, the actual um, colour uh, itself, okay? So let's have a look at our uh, worksheet, um, and the hex colour that it wants us to enter um, is hash F5F5DC, okay? Uh, and that's into the body, okay? Um, so, so for the body, okay, which is... Um, there we're going to enter some parenthesis, okay, um, around um, our tag, and there we go, and F5, F5, DC, okay, and that's our first style. Um, I'm just going to put this parenthesis up here, okay, um, so that's for the body of the document in terms of um, the actual um, colour. So if we save our web page and we go to um, the web page that we have and we refresh it, we can see the body colour um, of the page changes to this nice cream colour. 
Okay, now when it comes to the next task, you are going to um, choose your own colour and and stuff like that, and do your own style sheet. So I know it might not be your taste at the moment, but let's just follow on um, from where we we have it. Okay. Um, now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to um, we are going to format our um, H1 um, headers. Okay. So anything within the web page, which is H1, like this visit Italy here, is going to be styled. Um, within this tag. Now this is called a selector. So we select the H1 tags, okay, and then we apply the styles that we put inside this parenthesis. Okay, so um, the styles that we are going to insert are here, um, pre-typed by myself. Okay, um, notice I'm just indenting, Just that's just a readability. That's all it is. Um, so the color, the text alignment, the center, the font size, and so on. So again, if we look at our um, web page, um, we can see that um, our H1, the Visit Italy, is here. Okay. Now, if we go up and I save that, and we go back to our page, you can see now that my H1 tag is clearly centered, the color has changed to blue, the background of it. Um, if we wanted to change that from white, we would have to actually um, apply that in the styling. We'll leave that at the moment. Okay, uh, before we move on to our next selector, I'm just going to tidy up that code. There we have it. Okay, so that's our H1. Uh, the next selector we're going to look at is our H2. So that's our next heading. Um, again, I'm just going to paste that in. Same um, process and I'm going to change the color, the, the text alignment and the font size um, of this. Um, so there we have it. Um, there we go. Uh, again, I'm going to save the web page and again, the same process applies. So this will apply to the where to visit um, heading. Okay, so we'll change the styling of that because our selector is the H2. Okay, so we've saved that again. We will go and refresh. We see the difference here. Okay, and we can see that it's still left aligned in this case, but we've changed the size and, um, you know, and we've, we've kept it left aligned. Okay, so you can see our web page already looks very, very different. All right, um, quite a powerful tool. I'm sure you'll agree. Uh, the final selector is our paragraph selector for this um, task. Um, so again, within the style, um, I'm going to paste in my paragraph selector. Again, you'll be typing this in for practice. I'm just doing this for the speed of the video. Um, I'm going to copy that in, and there we have our um styling code put in. Okay, so what have I changed about the paragraph? Well, I've changed the font family. I've made it Times New Roman. You know, notice there's three different options here. The first option with the Times New Roman, then the Times, and then the uh, serif option. Okay, depending on the fonts that are available. Um, the colour, again, same colour. Notice there's a bit of consistency there. Um, we're going to change that. Uh, the text align, we're keeping that left, and we're changing the font size to 18. Okay, so again, we'll save our web page there and uh, we'll go back and we'll have a look uh, and there we have it we've changed you know to blue the font size has changed and so on notice that our kind of styling of the underlining and stuff like that it remains um in there and, uh, the reason that remains if we look at the code is that um, we have done this in line it's called so we've done some inline um coding so basically um the actual tags are spanning across uh, the paragraph tags, so they remain consistent, okay, all the time. All right, um, so that overrides the style sheet, so we wouldn't worry about that. So up until now, um, that's the style that we've changed. If we click in our hyperlinks, we see that we still have the plain old web pages that we had before. So we need to apply these st this styling um, to these pages also. Now, that's a lot quicker and a lot easier than you may think. Now that you have typed that out once, you are now 
you now have the ability to be able to copy and paste that. It's the exact same styling that we're going to use because we want to keep a consistent approach as we go through our web pages. So how do we do that? Okay, um, well, the, the first page that we are going to look at is our food page. Okay, so if we open the food.html, uh, go into the head of our document. Okay, and go back and we copy the style tags and everything inside them. Okay, so I'm doing a control C. Alternatively, you can go edit copy and go to the food um, tag. And in here, you can go edit and paste and that will paste that styling in. Now, if we go before we save it to our food page um, and we look at it again, um, it's that plain old page. But if we save it now and we refresh this, we can see that the styling changes automatically. Okay, again, a very, very powerful um, tool. Okay, um, and again, our hyperlinks and stuff will still work. Um, again, we go to our history page. Um, there we have it. Um, we go inside our head and we paste that in and save it. And the, the final page um, for us will be um, our culture page. So again, same process in here, paste in our styling and save that. And when we go back and refresh our website, make sure you refresh it each time. We'll see our food, our history, and our culture pages have all updated with our new styling. Okay, now a very quick and a very fast way to actually style our web pages. Okay, and remember this is called inline, uh, and, and sorry, an internal style sheet. That means the style sheet is internal to the web page. It's inside the web page. Okay, inside the web page. There is such thing as an external um, cascading style sheet, which we will look at in lessons to come. All right, so pleased to say that's us finished um, this lesson. Um, and that's how we style our, our, um, our web pages. I would like just to show you and highlight to you W3Schools website where you can, if you go to the homepage of W3Schools website, you can learn about cascading style sheets. So things like selectors that we, we highlighted, like the paragraph selector, and um, you can learn about different colors that we can use. We can learn about uh, CSS and text and how we format text using um, cascading style sheets and many other things. You can see there's a whole course here dedicated just to um, CSS and you can use that for the second part um, of your task when you go and create your own style sheet with your own styles, your own colors and different things. When you experiment about with it and see um, how that goes. Okay, um, thanks for, for listening. I hope you learned something a wee, wee bit different about cascading style sheets and how they work together with HTML. When we give our web browser like Google Chrome, the HTML and the style sheet, it's able to put those two things together to create the web pages that we view so often. Okay, well done and I'm glad, I'm glad you uh, tuned in. I hope you've learned something and stay tuned for our next video.